Hello, welcome to my channel. I have a small haul for you today. I went to my local library where they had the Friends of the Library book sale. Um, I, I didn't find too much. I usually don't find too much in there, but there's always like a treasure or two sitting in there. Um, they don't have really old books, um, but I usually find something. So I spent a whopping $3 today. Um, so I'm gonna show you what I got. Uh, the first one I got um, is this golden book, 39 cents originally. So it is definitely an old one. Um, it, it's not in the best condition, but this was my absolute favorite book growing up. Absolute favorite. I loved the monster at the end of this book. Um, it belonged to Jensen. Jensen took pretty pretty good care of the book. Um, it, is in, it is in really good condition. Um, it has a copyright date of 1971. So I was seven at this time. So um, right around the time I would have had this book and been reading it. My sister was a couple years younger than me, and I used, we used to, I used to read to her all the time. So uh, um, I love this one. So um, I don't know if I'll ever do anything with that, but I love my monster at the end of this book. So uh, the next golden book I got was uh, uh, Animals Merry Christmas. Um, I'm thinking about doing um, a Christmas Journal. So actually the second one after that is Christmas too, but like 25 cents. Holy cow, right? Uh, this is in pretty, pretty sad condition, but um, it, it's a great old book um, I mean it's thick um, thick cardboard for it and the um, patina is um, just great on this book um, the first page is pretty bad but the, the drawings are just beautiful in here um, I do not um, have a date on this one I was looking for it on here I don't think I saw one or wait did I see one on here no I don't think I did um, oh it was copyright 1950 1958 so um, definitely a lot older than my monster at the end of the book um, and you can tell um, how it looks but um, definitely definitely worth it um, great stuff so uh, the final golden book I got uh, the 12 days of Christmas I thought this would be a great uh, junk journal for Christmas um, it's got all the pages with all the um, um, sayings for 12 days of Christmas uh, this has a copyright of 1983 so it's definitely um, a lot younger um, still still pretty vintage, uh, but it's got all the um, partridge in a pear tree. Um, it keeps adding two turtle doves, partridge in a pear tree, and just keeps adding stuff um, to all the pages. So when we get to the end, um, uh, there's just some great, great fun drawings in here um, that this would make a, I think, a really cute uh, journal for uh, Christmas. So, yeah, I like it. Okay, so the next one I got was uh, this Tom Sawyer book. Um, it is, um, the illustrations in here are, are okay. Um, they're kind of just two-dimensional in color. Um, but it is from uh, MCMLV, so that is 55. Um, but I just love the patina on these pages. They are just yummy, yummy. Uh, brown, around, brown around them, the edges you can see are just, uh, but you see the illustrations, um, the, they're not beautiful or anything, but they, um, they're they definitely cool. And I just love um, the patina of these pages. Um, so I got it for that. Um, the, the, the binding is not in too bad of a shape um, for it to be uh, um, cool. So, all right, so that is that one. Now the last book I got is a really new book, um, The Secret Lives of Color by Gasha St. Clair. Um, it is, uh, dun, 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 dun. it is from 2016, 2017, so not too long, but uh, what I loved about it, besides that this color is here, um, it, um, the pages, I can see here, um, the pages are rainbow, and what they have is, get past the words here, um, they've got a couple pages of, um, the colors, uh, but then they go and describe all the colors with these border on them, and I thought it'd be kind of cool. Um, each one has, get okay, past, um, Isabelline is a color, um, well, beige, good old, um, blonde, chrome yellow, but I thought it would be kind of cool, because if you take these out, um, the colors are on the border, you could cover these pages up, put them in a junk journal, um, cover these up with things, and have these fun, uh, borders, uh, for things, saffron and minium, 
nude and then like I said in the between I can find a more bright colored in between um, they have these kind of uh, solid pages on one side um, of the um, uh, backs of when they kind of go into different shades of colors look at the purples how pretty they are shades of all the colors um, they just go um, through come back come back oh goodness me um, so yeah they list all the colors that will be in there and they have a description kind of um, how they came about um, something like that but I just I thought that was kind of cool with the like I said with the uh, border for all these colors I mean it's just a rainbow um, of colors and then there's just um, a glossary of other interesting colors <laughs> But the dots in there those would be kind of cool to put in a, a book um, but I thought that was uh, kind of kind of cool originally $20 and like I said I spent um, at the lovely uh, friends of the library book sale three dollars so um, buy books for three dollars thought I did pretty good yeah okay so let's get those out of the way so the next place I stopped was Joanne Fabrics and they had the Halloween stuff out. Now, I'm not um, probably going to do anything with Halloween for a journal, per se. Um, I, I like fall, so I'll probably do a fall journal, um, but not strictly Halloween. But I saw these, and I thought, you know what, I have to get them. So um, I'm going to start with this uh, paper pad first. Uh, there's a couple other things there that were really Halloween-y um, that I was not about to get. But a lot of these are just not... I, I wouldn't call them Halloween necessarily, but they are um, definitely cool. I mean, that's not Halloween with some um, like wallpaper, the writing, crackle, ledger or um, invoice kind of deal. Looks like lace. Um, this is just a uh, top of a cigar box, some brick architecture. Um, and I like these because I have, I have um, they're thicker. Uh, fold them up to make, you know, folios or tags or something. Nice grunge. Druggists, more a crackle paint, kind of wallpapery. Uh, that looks like a book, loving memory book. But this got the fun back. I mean, I guess I wouldn't call it fun, grungy. I like it. <laughs> that uh, metal, uh, wood. So these are cool. Um, like I said, they're in the Halloween section of the Joann's for the Tim Holtz, but they are not, um, they are by no means a Halloween. Like a map. Definitely a lot of this, uh, kind of uh, wallpaper kind of things. That's probably the most Halloween they have with the orange and black stripes. Uh, purple, this is pretty. I like that. Oh, black dots. That's fun. Of course, that has to be on the same page. Another wholesale druggist receipt screen and that. So, um, yeah, some great, great basic um, things that would be great to uh, uh, decorate to uh, use some for something um, else. So, um, I like it. I am happy I found it. Okay, so... Um, I was saying in my last video when I was doing my Margaret Miller that I had no stencils. So um, I ran across these. Now, like I said, they are in the Halloween section. So um, I really did not get them for the stamps. I, I truly got them for the stencils. And that's um, out of here. All right. So for come on, un untape yourself. There you go. So for the, um, this would be cool, the little dots. I, I probably will never use um, those stamps at all. So I might end up giving them as a giveaway. Probably keep that though. Yeah. Um, but what I, like I said, what I wanted it for was these stencils. Now these are cool. Now I have, um, let's see, I have these. Um, I picked these because they were kind of generic, uh, not kind of, they were really generic -y. I have my brick red. Um, stencils. So this is a uh, brick pattern on the bottom. So let's see how I can get, I can get some of that to, 
do a little bit of this. I mean, definitely cool. And then this one is a rock pattern. To me, it looks kind of like a rock, right? I'm afraid this is so, oops, don't move. I need to tape that down. But of course, I'm doing this kind of um, on the fly quickly to see what it looks like. But I think in general, I would tape it down and not, this is so fine, I don't think I would do the swirly effect, but looks like cobblestones, very cool. Yeah, definitely. All right, I need to find a wipe and wipe this off here real quick. Don't want to ruin my stencil three seconds after I've got it. which slide I did it on, but it's really not coming off. <laughs> okay, well, I tried, as they say. Oh, I got the ink all over my hand. Cease! Okay. All right, so that's fun. The brick and the cobblestone pattern. Yeah, I definitely can find some uses um, for those on tags or journal cards or something. Um, so this one... I probably will um, use the stamps on these because um, they're leaves. So like I said, when using a, um, a fall journal, uh, leaves are a pretty big part of that. So um, definitely could see using uh, the leaves for something. Um, but the reason, like I said, mostly I got it was because of um, these. So let's see. What I got here. Um, so this is, like I said, kind of a uh, wood pattern. And I got my put this back in here. Don't want the brick red anymore. I'll we'll use the brush corduroy. It's kind of a wood color. pattern for that cool okay and then finally the good old splatter kind of dot one I thought was great um, I think I'm gonna get that back all right so yeah I mean that's fun right come on that's fun for sure Oh, I thought I had a... All right. Yeah, look at that. That's cool. Some of these littler dots is I'm gonna have to figure out how to get the color into those because they are tiny. I guess they do work if you press hard enough. Oh good. Alright. That's cool. Alright, not that that seemed to help on the last one, but oh it's taking that one off. Okay, I think I know what the problem is. I think the first one I used was archival ink. That would be why. That makes sense now why it didn't come off. Uh, and this were oxides. The blue and the um, the blue and the corduroy. So those came off. Okay. I feel better now. I'm able to clean my, st my stencil off. Okay. Alright. So I officially have some stencils now. I'm quite excited. And like I said, pretty basic ones that I can use uh, all the time. 
yeah, I like it. So, all right, well, that is it for my haul. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, definitely gonna, like I said, see some, these are nice, I'll stamp one of these. Um, let's get a, let's get a nice red, nice red leaf for fall, right? I need to get in there like a rubber stamp ink remover or something. Something like that. I'm gonna have to probably track that down. And now I have a pretty red stamp. <laughs> Should have known better. Yeah. Okay. Those are some thick stamps. For sure. I mean, they're just really thick. Like they're almost rigid. So, cool. Okay. Well, that is going to be it for my haul today. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, if you're looking for, like I said, the Tim Holtz um, uh, stuff, it's at the Joann's, um, even though it's still August. But before you know it, it'll be fall. And um, make sure you subscribe to your local public libraries because uh, a lot of them have the Friends of the Library sales. Um, and you can find some uh, interesting things there for cheap. So uh, that is going to be it for me today. Uh, I hope you enjoy the video. If you'd like to see more uh, stuff from me, hit the subscribe button. Uh, if you like the video, a thumbs up would be great. Comments, uh, finds that you've had uh, recently for hauls, I'd love to hear about them. Um, I watch them all the time from people because um, I get some interesting ideas for things all the time. So. All right, that's going to be it. Thanks so much and have a wonderful and creative day. Bye now.